to Alley Park's Nature Center in another episode of Nature Tales, presented by Lancaster Parks and Recreation. Today we're going to be talking about the turtle shell, those terrific turtles. So in front of me here, uh, the larger turtle shells are from a water turtle, a snapping turtle. And uh, you notice on the top of the shell, which that top part of a shell, let me tell you, is called a carapace. A carapace, I remember, because a turtle will carry it on its back, so a carapace. And these bony shells are made up of different scales on the top of the shell. So these scales much like fish scales or whatever. There are 13 bony plates, bony scales, that they will shed as they grow. And the under part of the shell of the carapace here, you will see, makes up a turtle's backbone and ribs. So without the shell, the turtle is no longer alive. Now the under part is also part of its shell, and the under part of the shell is called the plastron. The plastron, I remember, is because when a turtle walks, it is plastered to the ground. So you have the top part of the shell, which is called the carapace, and the bottom part, which is called the plastron. Now in between, which connects it both together, and I like to joke with the kids, is another big Latin uh, name, and that would be bridge. So you have the carapace, the plastron, and the bridge. So why all these shells? Well, it protects the turtles, of course, from its predators. So moving over to the turtle cage, our first friend here that um, we see is a land turtle known as the box turtle, which you oftentimes find in the wooded areas around Ohio. And our box turtle here, you see the bony plates or you see the scales on the top of his carapace. His plastron, let me pick him up here. His plastron here is also kind of that camouflage color you would see in a wooded area or in the dirt. If you notice right here, this is a hinge on a box turtle. That plastron hinge will shut and he will look pretty much like a rock and it really camouflages him and protects him out there in the woods from his predators. Then we move over to one of our water turtles here, which you have a turtle out of water here. And this would be one of your Eastern painted turtles. And his carapace is a darker color so that if looking down into the pond, a predator would not be able to see, would be fairly camouflaged. But if we turn him over here and look at the underside, the plastron looks quite different. It is a counter shading there, which if a predator is underneath looking up and out at the sunlight, then she would be camouflaged. A Eastern painted turtle. And together, you know, it is held together by this little strip called the bridge. But the plastron is a little bit different because you can't hinge shut because it still needs to have room to be able to move those legs and to be able to swim in the water. So the plastrons on different turtles as well as the carapace are a little bit different, made for whatever habitat they are living in. Looks like she's uh, tucked all up in there. But meanwhile, our buddy here is out and about. So that's it for some turtle shell information on this chilly day in May.